the Belated Binge Podcast. Hi, and thanks for watching Belated Binge on YouTube. Here we post mostly unedited footage from segments of our podcast series where we re-binge some of the most iconic series in recent memory that I was incredibly late on. Follow along as we're rereading the Harry Potter series and join the discussion in the comment section. If you enjoy it, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to not miss an episode. And of course, if you want to hear the episode in full, you can listen to Belated Binge wherever you get your podcasts. Follow us on social media, become a patron for early access and exclusive bonus content. Again, thanks for watching Belated Binge. Red card. This episode's red card segment. Uh, this is where we decide what character in the story that we want to throw out of the game. Uh, you would think that with this chapter being all from Vernon's perspective, and we pretty much see that he's uh, pretty much an awful person, and it's all told from his point of view that he would be, you know, the the logical choice for the red card to be the worst character uh, in this chapter. But you can actually see throughout the entire chapter that it's actually his wife that he is afraid of. He wants other people to be afraid of him. He's yelling at them and he's doing all of the things that uh, we grow to expect from Vernon Dursley but when he brings up her sister her nephew Petunia is cold she is angry and Vernon is shook therefore in this episode we're actually giving our red card to Petunia Dursley get her out of here. That was fun. Let's give away the game ball. The game ball. So you would think, again, the logical choice with this episode and with this chapter would be to give the game ball to Dumbledore. He's the main focus of the chapter. He's the main focus of the discussion that we've been having today and that he would be deserving. It's his plan. In a lot of ways, it's his story. But Hagrid, Hagrid is the one who got Harry safely out of Godric's Hollow, presumably took care of him for whatever the 24 hours that were missing between the time of the murder that happened and then getting placed on the doorstep. And he was positioned to be the one to protect him from any possible follow-up attacks that might happen. Dumbledore entrusted Hagrid to safely deliver our little one, our little chosen one, our little boy who lived, Harry Potter, the one, the little baby version that we've barely even met yet, Dumbledore was entrusting his life to Hagrid. For that, he's our chapter's MVP and deserving of the game ball recognition, which actually leads us pretty nicely into our final segment for today, which is the fumble. Fumble. So the fumble. The fumble is the point in the episode where we call out plot holes, choices made that might be outside of what we would expect from characters, and other things that just simply don't make a ton of sense. Um, let's start with the missing 24 hours. A lot of people have talked about this, so we're not going to drag it on a whole lot, but the text makes it seem as though Hagrid just pulled Harry out of the house. Yet, around 24 hours had passed since his parents were murdered. So where did it go? You know, we think we know what happened. We do <laughs> here at Belated Bench. We think that we know what happened right after the murders. Uh, and for that, check out Patreon for our How Did He Know Theory Corner uh, episode. But aside from that, we can't assume that Harry was just like in his crib for an entire day alone, nor can we assume it took Hagrid an entire day to ride, you know, a flying motorcycle to the Dursleys. Was he just like chilling with a baby Harry, you know, changing diapers, feeding him from a bottle, maybe cuddling during nap time? I'm just going to let that visual sink in for a second before we move on to the next thing. So our, our next fumble 
is the the how did you know it was me line in regards to Professor McGonagall as a cat. We've already laid out how long these two have known each other in either timeline that you're going to accept as canon. We also know she's registered with the Ministry as an Animagus, which is a public record of sort. So if someone like Hermione can easily look this up later on in our series, you know, we, why would it be expected that it's some secret? Heck, we know that she also transforms in her classrooms. It's like a bit that she does for the class. She does it in book three and is like taken aback by the lack of applause before learning about how Trelawney predicted Harry's death. So, you know, why, why the, the moment with Professor McGonagall and Dumbledore and her being surprised that Dumbledore would know who she was in her animagus form when virtually anybody with access to whatever the wizarding library or, you know, hall of animagi would be uh, to, to know, you know, what, who it was and, you know, who else is going to be sitting there waiting on him as a cat. Anyways, uh, the final fumble for this chapter, and usually we won't have this many, honestly, but uh, there's definitely been some uh, there's been some talk that this was a difficult chapter uh, for the author to write and to to get things started, and I think I think that's kind of why we see a few extra fumbles than what we come to uh, expect from you know this this particular book series. Um, but finally, it's it's the doorstep. You know, um, it's been beaten to death, so we're just going to say it briefly. But you left a baby on the front step to be stumbled upon by, you know, the person who lives there when she's putting out the milk bottles, which was that even a thing in the 90s? I grew up in the 90s. We bought milk from the grocery store. Maybe, you know, they meant milk carton because that's exactly where this kid's face would be if you know, this was the real world, but no, uh, we have, uh, we have baby Harry on a doorstep ready to be kidnapped by anybody, um, where he's stumbled upon by Mrs. Dursley. With that, we've reached the end of a very long and very robust episode of Belated Binge. That wraps up our fumble segment. Yeah.